guys, my name is Miss Sarah and today I'm going to read to you one of the stories that's included in your camp kit. So today we are going to be reading the story about magical Egypt, animals and insects of the ancient world. So if you'd like, you can either just listen to me read you the story or you can follow along with the book that's in your kit and look at all of the photos that we have in there. All right, so I'm going to get started. This week, we will be learning about the importance of animals in ancient Egypt. Follow along with our story and learn about what each animal meant to ancient Egyptians. We will be following the Nile River through our story, which is one of the world's longest waterways and an important part of Egyptian history. Many years ago, in a faraway land of Egypt, people worshiped gods who took the forms of animals that lived along the Nile River. The gods had special healing powers and would protect and help the people of Egypt. Each god lived in a special place and had a special job. Bast was the goddess of women and protected them. She looked like a cat and acted like a cat in many ways too. One day, Bast was feeling lonely Bast only had one friend, the god Thoth. It's a funny name, huh? Thoth looked like an ibis. An ibis is a bird that flies over Egypt. Thoth was the god of wisdom. That means he was very smart. Thoth told Bast that if she was feeling lonely, she should try to make more friends with the other gods in Egypt. Bast thought that was a good idea. But where should she start? Bast decided to look for the other gods along the Nile River to become friends with them. Before she left on her journey, Thoth gave her a small bag and said, Take this with you, Bast. I think all the friends you meet will give you one too. But do not open this bag until you have reached the end of your journey. Bast was very excited. She put the small bag inside her backpack and started walking down the Nile. The next day, Bass saw something swimming in the water of the Nile River. She walked to the edge of the water and in a big green crocodile slowly walked onto the shore. Hello, said Bast. I am Bast and I came to make more friends. The crocodile smiled a big toothy grin. Hello, Bast. My name is Sobek. I am the god of protection and power. I protect the pharaoh and make sure Egypt always has a king or a queen. Thoth the ibis flew over my home and let me know you are coming to make friends. Please take this gift and by the end of your journey, you'll understand why Egypt needs all of us. Bast was very happy to meet Sobek. Thank you so much, she said. I'm so glad to make new friends. I must go back into the Nile now. Good luck on your journey said Sobek. Bast kept walking along the river and soon came upon loud splashes of water. What could be happening over there, thought Bast. As Bast got closer to the splashing, she saw a very big hippopotamus. This hippo was laughing and playing in the water with many little baby hippos all around her. Oh, look who is headed our way, children, said the hippo. Hello, uh, my name is Bast. Hello, dear. Your friend Thoth said you would be stopping by to learn about the animals of the Nile and to make new friends, said the hippo. My name is Toaret. As you can see, I have a lot of little children running around. I am the goddess of childbirth and babies. I protect the women of Egypt and help them take care of their little babies. That sounds very neat, said Bast. Before you go, dear, take this gift, said Toirette. Bast took a little bag from the hippo goddess and put it in her backpack. Have a safe journey, said Toirette. As Bast continued walking along the river with her backpack, she came upon a little barn. The barn was painted a beautiful gold color. As she got closer to the barn, she heard a terrible noise. Moo! Moo! What could that be? wondered Bast. 
Bast ran to the barn and swung the doors open. There she saw the source of all that noise. A big cow had gotten her horns stuck in the gate of the barn. She let out another loud moo as Bast got closer. Bast began to push on the cow's head until she finally got it back through the gap in the gate. Thank you so much, you fine feline, said the cow. Your friend Thoth flew by yesterday and said you were on your way. Thank goodness you came quickly. I have been stuck for hours. My name is Hesat, the goddess of life and nourisher of the gods. Well, what does that mean? asked Bast. Well, said Hesat, it means that I help all of the other gods stay healthy to do their job. I feed them and keep them all safe. Without me, the other gods could not help the people of Egypt. Wow, said Bast, you have a very important job. Yes, but we all have important jobs, said Hesat. Please take this small gift, and when you get home, you won't feel lonely again. They said goodbye, and Bast began her journey home with her backpack filled with four small bags. She could not wait to get home to see what was inside. In your kit, you have all of the bags that were given to Bast on her journey to find friends. Look inside of each bag and decode the secret message from the gods of Egypt. I hope you guys enjoyed the story and I can't wait for you to solve our mystery.